We're gonna come down here from O to P. And if you think about a pant pattern, we need to add a little bit of curve here for thigh muscle. And it's gonna be a really subtle interior curve. So halfway in your distance between O and P, you're gonna come in from this exterior line, this original exterior line, not the line we drew from O to M, not that line, okay? But from O to P, somewhere in that distance, you're gonna come in that way an eighth of an inch, and you're just gonna make a slight curve line there. Okay, so your pants taper from the butt in a little bit at the curve, and then at the knee, they just go straight down. What I find really ironic about this whole process is that the torso slopers and the sleeve slopers are so mathematically precise, and yet they will not fit as well as these pants, which are make a slightly tapered line and yet the pants will fit better. It's kind of a crazy thing. Okay, now we're moving up to the waistline. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see just the waistline a little bit. We're up here at H, which is the top corner of the box. And we are going to uh, come into the pant half an inch. And that is going to become R. And then I need you to think about your waist circumference. Now remember, this is at belly button. So your waist circumference, and I want you to divide that by four and then add a quarter of an inch. Okay, now we're gonna start at R and we're gonna work our way towards C, but you're gonna put S in whatever that distance is, that math you just did. So if mine is 30 and if I divide that by four, that is seven and a half plus a quarter of an inch for ease, that's seven and three quarters, but I'm working in half scale, which is, oh geez, unreasonable. R is you're coming from H and you're coming into the pant half an inch. That's three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths, thank you. So that's one, two, three, and seven eighths. I'm about right there. And that becomes S. We are gonna connect our hip line on the out seam from S to E to O. Just use your curve. Okay. What I want is a nice smooth line that then tapers to the inside and then falls straight down from the knee. Okay. 